I was talking a little earlier with Pierre about a database that's been building for several years now at Carnegie Mellon University regarding all of the documented benefits of residence and occupancy and time spent in green buildings. For example, it is irrefutable that worker productivity is greatly enhanced in green design and construction. Less eye strain, there's certainly uh, 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 less other health problems that are associated with air quality, etc. There is now a growing database of information to demonstrate that sickness and health care costs are greatly reduced uh, among the occupants of green buildings. And in the near future, I think it's quite realistic that companies like Arizon ought to take an aggressive approach with their health care insurance provider and negotiate uh, for an experience rated rate because the numbers will prove out. But particularly because energy costs are not going to retreat anytime soon, unless, of course, it's demand destruction brought about by uh, economic stress because so many people around the world cannot afford food, cannot afford energy, cannot afford resources. The point is, companies like Arizon will be able to afford resources and will be in a most competitive position against other manufacturing concerns that do not enjoy this level of energy and environmental efficiency. And I say that because in the past, unless you were in the steel industry or the chemical industry, the energy cost of running a business had not in the past been a significant fraction of business operating overhead. That is going to change dramatically, particularly in two years when the, when the artificial rate caps from deregulation lift here in Pennsylvania and many other states. So what that means is in a competitive global environment where in many other countries they can't even keep the power going. That One of the reasons diesel fuel has gone up so high is that China is buying every last spare diesel generator there is on the planet to supplement an incapacity in their power grid. So here we have a situation where not only in future will Arizon be able to operate at half or less the power of a conventional manufacturing plant Arizon in future will be able to sell its avoided power cost back to the grid and derive additional economic benefit because we are not going to have sufficient capacity in future to satisfy all the peak demand needs of conventional factories and conventional businesses. So Arizon, while it was doing this, I think, from a, a, a clear perspective of moral foundation, simply because as residents of planet Earth, this is a, a moral and ethical responsibility and it's something that we all must do, is going to benefit from a business perspective greatly and those benefits will only accelerate as the cost of a resource-constrained world is made manifest. So we have every reason to be hopeful about our future to the extent that we can encourage and inspire others to do what Arizon has done. We can grow our economy, we can protect our environment, we can stay competitive in a, glo in a global economic uh, arena, but we cannot continue with business as usual and it's the leadership of Arizon and its, and its people who are going to make all the difference in the days to come. Thank you very much.